my name is Lisa Senehy. I'm the Math 8 teacher this year for your child. So just I'm going to go through policies and expectations. This document is also available on Google Classroom. So materials can seem to be okay with their organization systems and calculators. If they don't have one, I do have some in class that are available during class time. All right, absences. So this year is a flipped classroom, um, very similar to what Margaret Sevier did, except that I have a hard copy of a note packet. So they just have to follow along and fill in the hard copy of note packets along with the videos. So if they're absent, they can easily keep up. I'm not requiring them to do new work, just to copy in the notes from the video so that their packet's up to date. Classroom practice is always available on Google Classroom. It is kind of above and beyond the practice that we do in class, and I highly encourage the kids to try them. The answer key is there. just gives them a little extra practice on what we're doing in class. If um, any student's absent on a test or quiz day, they have four days to get, it, to get it done. They just need to see me, and we make arrangements to get it done sometime in school. Along with that packet of notes is a homework block sheet on the top, and on that block sheet tells you the topic for every block and also tells you when there are tests and quizzes. Um, before any test or quizzes, students will most likely have a hard copy of a review sheet that goes over any of the concepts that we're going to have on the test, and we will review it in class before they take that assessment. So they should have something every night, whether it's just a video to watch or a hard copy of a, a an assessment review sheet. Report card grade, 30% formative, combination of homework and some of our graded classwork activities, 70% summative, so tests and quizzes. Each quarter is 20%, along with 20% for a final exam at the end of the year. Extra help, I am available every um, fifth period. Most of the eighth graders have either lunch or a study hall fifth period. Some of them are actually in my room, but if they are not, they're welcome to get a pass from me anytime to review for assessments, to go over stuff that they were absent, or if they just had trouble in class for the day, they're welcome to come see me anytime time. If your child is interested in Algebra 1 honors for next year, they need to maintain a 95 or higher test averages. And if that's the case, please reach out to me and let me know because I will keep a running tally of test averages so you and your child know where they stand throughout the year. Course outline up into the state review is all Math 8 topics. Um, I'm hoping we'll have a state test this year. We didn't last year. We'll see what happens. If we do, I review. We have a unit of review before that. And once the state exam is over in May, I introduce, introduce them to the topics of Algebra 1, kind of like a pre-algebra um, to end the year. My email is here. You can reach me through Google Classroom. Feel free to call school and I'll get back to you. If you have, ever have any questions, please reach out. Everything is on Google Classroom. If anybody's ever absent or you're missing anything, everything can be found on Google Classroom. And as always, please reach out to me if you have any questions. Bye-bye.